Okay, so now we're going to go over combinations, and um, I'm not going to go into what a combination is, but here's combination. Well, let me do it real quickly. Combination is, is where the order doesn't matter. So in other words, if you're making a pizza and you have pepperoni and mushrooms, it doesn't matter if you put mushrooms on the cheese, mushrooms on first, then pepperoni, or pepperoni and then mushrooms and then you cook the pizza. It's still a pepperoni mushroom pizza. So the order doesn't matter. Permutations, the order does matter. Okay, so for combinations, the order doesn't matter. And we read this notation as n choose k. We'll explain what that is in a second. But that's equal to n factorial over k factorial times the quantity n minus k factorial. So what do we mean here? Well, let's do an example of using this. Well, let's say we go to a pizza place and they have a total of eight items to choose from to put on your pizza. Pepperoni, mushrooms, onions, green peppers, um, sausage, whatever. Of those eight, we want, the question is how many three topping pizzas can be created? Well, again, the the order doesn't matter if you have onions, pepperoni, and mushrooms, or the order doesn't matter how you put them on, it's still an onion, pepperoni, mushroom pizza. So what we're doing here to figure this out is, out of a total of eight items, we're going to pick three items to make our three topping pizza. So this is a situation where we have eight choose three out of a total of eight things, we're choosing three. How many different distinct types of three topping pizzas are there? Well, we now just use our formula. The top number is eight, so we have eight factorial. The bottom number is k, so we have three factorial. And then we have n minus k, eight minus three, in that quantity, we take the factorial. Now we just simplify. 8 factorial, 8 minus 3 is 5 factorial. Of course, we could plug this in our calculator, but just let's do this by hand at this point. 8 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6. And then like, let's write 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 as 5 factorial. So we can cancel with that 5 factorial. These cancel, and we're left with 8 times 7 times 6. 3 factorial is 3 times 2, which is 6. Therefore, this 6 cancels with this 6, and we get 8 times 7, which is 56. So, if a pizza place has a total of eight items to choose from to put on your pizza, you, there can, there's a total, of three, uh, a total of 56 types of pizzas that have three toppings on them. Now, what, one other thing I want to mention here is, this is also the formula for a lottery. And, um, and this is kind of nice uh, if we to explain the probability of winning the lottery. Well, I don't know, I don't play the lottery, but I don't know how many things there are. But let's say there are 50, 52 numbers in the pot. And out of those 52 numbers, we're gonna, we gotta pick five of them, let's say, to, to win it. Okay, well, how many different, how many different types of tickets are there? This is really, what we have is 52 factorial over 5 factorial times 52 minus 5 is 47 factorial. So when you get out your calculator here, your, your answer is going to be in the millions. But um, what this is saying is there's millions of tickets, millions of, of different outcomes. If you buy one ticket, then the probability is one in however many million uh, different types of tickets there are, your chance of winning is one in that many million. Not, not very good. So, but anyways, that's another nice application 
to, to talk about combinations or this formula and how it's used.